This is the roundup video for February 2020. Um, as usual, I'm just going to run through the documentation website and switch back to the software to actually show you some of the features. So it's going to be relatively short because the two primary features have already got extensive videos um, about the features. So I'm going to put them uh, links to these videos in the blog. Um, and I'm just going to br very briefly touch on it um, in this roundup video. So the first feature is the comments for attention. Now this allows uh, technicians or service advisors to write comments, select a particular type of comment, which will in turn populate the job sheets for attention tile um, on the roll center. So I'll just show you how this works. If I open this job sheet, you can see that there's an extra column now called attention. And if you tick this button here, um, this checkbox here, this is what will populate the tile on the role center. Now, what you can also do is create type codes of comments that have the attention mark set by default. So in this particular system, when a technician writes a comment, it's going to automatically draw that comment for attention. I'll just show you how this works from that within that tile. If I open the tile, um, you can see I have the job sheet fact box information here. So if, as I'm scrolling through the um, comments, you can see the vehicle information and customer information. What you can also do from here, let's say you've actioned, um, for example, brake pads incorrect. If you select process, remove attention mark, then it removes that comment. Um, if you want to, at any one particular point, you can just mark any type of comment for attention if you wish. If we go back home, you can see that we've got four uh, comments for attention now. It's really useful for like uh, reminders for yourself or to do's, or you can just set them for other advisors um, or technicians can set them for the front of house. The next feature we added was the ability to automatically add service packages to documents. Um, so that actually the community request was the ability to have uh, an item added to every single document by default or well, we went one step further and added the ability to have service packages as default um, and we made it based on service type so I'll show you how this works if I just go ahead and just make a service booking for example I'll just select a vehicle you can see that it automatically populates the document with the labor lines and items from the service package and what's also quite cool for those who are keeping up with the service package changes, it will only apply the service package if the vehicle applies to the particular conditions um, and filters of that service package. So I'll just show you another example under general bookings. Again, I'll just select vehicle. You can see it's added a consumable charge, environmental charge, um, and a vehicle health check as well. So to link your service packages to service types, if you search for service types, you need to enable this column here, but then you can see how you add a particular type of service package to a particular type of service type. Uh, so we added a prompt um, for when you post and print a document, if there are no payment terms, it will open the take payment window for you automatically. So I'll just show you this. So if I go to uh, take payment, you'll see there are no payment options here, but you don't need to do this separately now. What you can do is just go straight ahead to post. And because there are no payments applied to the document, it automatically takes me to the um, take payment window. If there were payment terms applied to the customer and job sheet, then it wouldn't open this window. We've added some uh, vehicle sales web services. Um, this is for a future update for the Power BI app. We added the option to have UK and Irish VRM lookup working at the same time. So previously it was either UK or Irish. Well now you can have both enabled if you wish. Um, the system will actually look at the logic of the plates to decide whether it should be a UK VRM lookup or an Irish v uh, VRM lookup. When converting an estimate to a job sheet, extended comments will now also copy over. So the new extended comment feature previously wasn't copying from estimates to job sheets. Well, now it does. Um, when a job sheet is assigned to a service advisor, 
the subsequent documents will also be assigned to the same service advisors. So for those that are using the tile filters for service advisors, um, let's say a vehicle inspection is made from a job sheet and in turn a vehicle inspection estimate is created from the inspection. The estimate will already be pre-assigned to the existing service advisor from the original job sheet. It just keeps that continuity. Uh, we added um, some VRM data, so weight, height, width, length and length to vehicle card and curb weight. So I'll just show you what this looks like. So under body and features, you now have gross weight um, and some various dimensions. We also added the ability to refresh the VRM data from the vehicle list. So previously, you would have to do it from within the vehicle card. Well now, if you're contacting customers that haven't booked in for MOTs, for example, um, from the vehicle list, you see you have lookup, update vehicle data by VRM, or update MOT date. And it will just refresh the VRM or it refresh the MOT date for you. We added the ability to search for customers via a phone number from within a job sheet. So I'll just go back to the job sheet. Under customer lookup now, you can search for phone numbers and it's going to find the customer based on the mobile phone number for you. And then finally, we added, again, this was a community request. Uh, we've added the ability to display uh, discount even if you are using the setup which hides unit price and quantity. So I'll just show you this. So from a document under invoice print options, for those using the hide labor quantity and unit price, it automatically also hid any discounts applied to those lines. Well now you have a print line discount always option. So if we go ahead and take a look at this. You can see here that you can also view the discount. So again, just to make sure that you've got that under invoice print options, you've got the slider here, just enable this. You can do it by document or you can do it as a general setup across your entire system. Um, and that is done under sales setup, sales and receivable setup. You see here print line discount always. If you enable this, then all future documents will have it as standard. So that's the roundup uh, for February. Uh, we look forward to your feedback. Thank you.